right, so from here we're heading to Kambughai Falls once again. Don't know much about the place, which is the whole point of visiting it, to learn about it. Just like I didn't know much about this uh, Salagdoong Beach has taken this to new heights, this whole experience. Get it? See what I did there? New heights. It's 35 feet up. That's no joke for a Tito. I, mean, I don't know about you millennials, but for a Tito, 35 feet up, that's kind of... Um, it's not natural territory for us, but you know, once you get up there, that initial fear of just stepping off and just sort of leaving it up to mother nature and gravity. And then you land there and you just want to do it all over again. It's really refreshing. It's really fun. And if you are in Sikihor, everything's pretty close to each other anyway. I mean, you could do the whole island in less than a day. So you may as well drop by, do a little bit of cliff dive, if you can do the slide as well, that's also good, but just remember that it works with the tides. So if you really want to do all three, you're going to have to make sure you come here really early, like at 4 a.m., 5 a.m. You'll be able to get the gist. Depends on the time of year, but just check with the lifeguard because you don't want to be disappointed. Turn up here and then you can't jump. Okay, so for now, let's just head off to our next destination and enjoy the rest of the trip in this land yacht. So there's supposedly 135 steps. I'm not worried about the going down, <laughs> it's the coming back up. The fact that they have all kinds of drink vendors over there tells you that there is a trend here, a pattern. People are exhausted when they get back up. I can see a little bit of it there, look at that. I can hear it. Oh, this looks really special. Just turning around the corner and seeing this open up in front of you. Oh, look at that. That is nice. Worth the 135 steps, I tell you. We bumped into some locals. I'm saying locals because I'm half British too. And Izzy's British. Izzy, you're from London? Yeah. Why Sikihor? I mean, you know, it's not exactly jumps out of you in a travel agency. Why did you pick this place? Oh, I've had a lot of friends who have been here and they all recommended it. What have you seen so far? We've been to the old ballet tree. We had mm -hmm. our feet in the bus and this. Is that cool? I'm about to do that, I think, later on today or tomorrow. Yeah, well, it's a weird sensation. Uh-huh. Does it hurt or is it just really weird feeling? It's a weird sensation. If you have ticklish feet, you won't enjoy it. What was the thing that stood out for you so far in this trip that you don't think you see anywhere else? And you can be uh, honest because I, mean, I don't work for the DOT. All the people, like, all the people are so friendly and accommodating. Everything's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, we're just staying here for two days though and then we're moving on. Did you see any witches? We've yeah, heard about the witches But we here. have been on a broomstick challenge. Really? Okay. So you know about the mystic side yeah, of, of yeah. Sikki Horror. Yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Izzy. <laughs> thanks, nice Johnny. Nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. Well, that was a blast, Kambughai Falls. Um, a lot of tourists there. That was probably the most tourists we've seen so far since landing. And uh, these are guys, it's interesting to know their stories, you know? Some of these people just found out about Sikior while they were here in the Philippines. So, you know what? Word of mouth is a very powerful tool still. You gotta always make sure that each and every one of us out there is an ambassador, or what they call a fun ambassador. All right, so now we're headed over to Balete Tree. Now, this is a unique place because this is like the oldest balete tree in the entire place. It's already a big enough draw to visit because balete trees are mystical and magical. Just remember all the urban legend stories we grew up with Balete Drive. That will tell you all you need to know about the mystique of the balete tree. But this has something even more. You see, this has a seafood restaurant in it. But there's a catch. Okay, get it? Catch, seafood? No. Anyway, puns aside, the catch here is it's the fish that eat you. <laughs> You're going to put your feet into these, this pond and big fish are going to come and start nibbling at it. So let's go and check it out. Okay, so this is the highlight and our new friend Izzy from London said this is a very weird experience so we're going to experience it for ourselves. 
I don't know what to expect. Oh God. Oh! Mm. Ah! It's certainly not painful, but it's weird. And there's a big fish coming up. Stay away, man. Stay away. Get out. Dude, I'm warning you. You see the big one? If the big one comes up here, that's it. Oh, that was weird. Who said money doesn't grow on trees? <laughs> Look, and that's old. Look how old that is. There's one faster thing than the Nissan Patrol. Wow! That hurt. <laughs> Woo, suck it.